My name is Jose Valencia. I am the president of ASA College, the college of choice for New Yorkers and Floridian. I am honored to be speaking at the 2020 ASA graduation ceremony. Two years ago, you decided to change your life by enrolling into college. I am sure that you researched many colleges, but you selected ASA College. We are honored that you did that. The fact that, that now you are graduating from ASA College shows that you made the right decision at that time. Then you enter college. Remember those days that you were significantly tired and you did not want to get up? Yes, you did. Remember those days that you struggled in understanding the subject matter, yet you stuck with it. Remember those days that you had personal issues and you visited one of our advisors for assistance, yet you overcame those issues. The 2020 graduation ceremony will be more significant this year because of the unprecedented pandemic crisis that we continue to face. At the beginning of this pandemic crisis, the whole world did not know what protocols to follow. To make matters worse, during those times, there were extreme shortages of PPE and lack of testing. Yes, under these extraordinary difficult circumstances, you graduated. I call that perseverance. And persevered, you did. Now is the time for you to celebrate your accomplishment. Share those accomplishments with your loved ones, parents, significant others and kids. Your accomplishments are theirs too. This is not the end of your educational journey. This is just phase one. You need to go on to phase two, a bachelor's degree. A question for you, do you like your college? If the answer is yes, you don't have to go anywhere. You can stay right here with ASA College. ASA College offers a significant number of online disciplines, including nursing, 
psychology, and interdisciplinary studies. I sincerely hope that you stay with us. For those of you who will be entering the profession of your choice, you will have a chance to make a difference in the quality of life of millions of people. Now is the real deal. Now, whatever you learn in the classrooms, whatever you learn in the externships, whatever you learn in the labs, you will have a chance to apply it in the real world. I am confident that at the end of the day, you will do extremely well and will make us proud. Congratulations to all of you again. Thank you. Good afternoon, graduates, faculty, staff, and guests. I'm Jalon Reed, Chair of the ASA College Board of Trustees. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, congratulations to all of today's graduates. We understand the tremendous challenges each of you have faced over the past year. So today, we not only celebrate your achievement in getting your degrees, but we also celebrate your perseverance in completing your course of study. Your being here today proves that you know how to be successful. So let this be one of many fabulous and amazing life achievements. We are very happy that you made ASA a part of this one. Congratulations. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the New York keynote speaker, Mr. Eric Adams, borough president and candidate for mayor of New York City. Mr. Adams was elected Brooklyn borough president in November of 2013. Before becoming borough president, he served in the New York State Senate from 2006 to 2013, representing the 20th district in Brooklyn, which includes Brownsville, Crown Heights, East Flatbush, Gowanus, Park Slope, Prospect Heights, Prospect Lefferts Gardens, South Slope, and Sunset Park. Borough President Adams also served as an officer of the New York City Transit Police, and then the New York City Police Department for 22 years. He retired with the, from, with the rank of captain. He is a co-founder of 100 Blacks in Law Enforcement Who Care. He graduated with an associate's degree from New York City College of Technology, a Bachelor of Arts from John Jay College of Criminal Justice, and a Master's in Public Administration from Marist College. In May of 2020, during the height of the coronavirus pandemic, he decided to sleep in his office at Brooklyn Borough Hall to make himself readily available to Brooklyn residents to help in distributing masks and participate in other life-saving activities. He is the author of a book entitled Healthy at Last. During his tenure, the Office of the Brooklyn Borough President has regularly provided valuable internships for ASA college students. In June of 2019, he awarded ASA College President Jose Valencia with an official proclamation for his lifelong achievement in helping Russian-speaking communities. Please join me in welcoming Borough President Eric Adams. Hello, I am Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams. And on behalf of the Borough of Brooklyn, I want to congratulate ASA College's graduating class of 2021. This is probably not the graduation you were expecting. Every generation has its own unique challenges. From Pearl Harbor and World War II to 9-11 and now COVID-19, each and every generation can rise with resiliency in the face of tragedy. We are capable of acting as one and moving forward together, not just as classmates and peers, but as human beings. And if there is anything that COVID-19 is teaching us, it is that we can face any challenge if we stand strong and work together to meet it head on. Class of 2021, this is your unique challenge. 
The end of any chapter in your life will rarely look the way you first envisioned it. But that's okay. It is our ability to adapt that creates the foundation of our future. You have reached a wonderful milestone that required endurance and resilience. And those same abilities will help you to adapt to the world around you. This will not be the last time you have to adapt to circumstances beyond your control. But you are more ready now than ever before. This is your time. This is your moment. Congratulations, ASA College, class of 2021. Good afternoon. I am Dr. Zachary Yamba, Vice Chair of the ASA College Board of Trustees. It is my pleasure to introduce today's keynote speaker, Florida State Senator Kathleen Passimodo. Senator Kathleen Passimodo was elected to the Florida State Senate in November 2016 after having served in the Florida House of Representatives since 2010. Senate President Simpson recently appointed her to serve as the chair for the Senate Committee on Rules for 2022. In addition to her role as rules chair, she serves on other committees, including Appropriations, Appropriations Subcommittee on Education, Banking and Insurance, Education, Regulated Industries, and the Joint Legislative Budget Commission. She also currently serves as the Florida Public Service Commission Nominating Council. During the 2018-2020 legislative session, Senator Passimodo served as Senate Majority Leader. She also previously served as a Senate President's appointee on the Statewide Council on Human Trafficking from 2017 to 2019. Senator Passimodo graduated in 1975 from Trinity College, now University, in Washington, D.C., after which she spent eight months backpacking in Southeast Asia. In December 1978, she received a law degree from Stetson University College of Law and built a practice around real estate and business law in Naples. She was in the first group of attorneys in the state to obtain board certification in real estate law. From creating the Collier County Juvenile Justice Council to serving as co-chair of the Community Engagement Initiative of the Education Foundation of Collier County Champions for Learning, Connect Law, and as president of the Southwest Florida Land Preservation Trust to chairing the board of the United Way of Collier County, she had the opportunity to work with citizens from all over Southwest Florida with a common goal of making the community a better place to live, work, raise a family, and retire. It is now my pleasure and honor to introduce you to Florida State Senator Kathleen Passimodo. Thank you to ASA College for inviting me to be a part of this event. It is an honor to join your celebration today. And congratulations to the graduates who are earning their degrees today. I know you have all worked hard for this moment. You've studied, you've missed out on sleep, you've missed out on time spent with friends and family, but you remain focused on your education and this degree is your reward. Just as important, congratulations to the families of the graduates. This accomplishment is just as much yours as it is your students. You raised them right and you taught them that education is important. Because with a good education, nothing stands in their way. I'm Kathleen Pasadomo. I am a member of the Florida Senate, representing the Southwest Florida region. I currently serve as chair of the Senate Committee on Rules. I relate to ASA College with one foot in New York, one foot in Florida, and a strong belief in the American dream. My grandparents emigrated from Italy and Ireland to the United States through Ellis Island. They worked in New York, and they worked hard to give their kids a chance at the American dream. I was fortunate to attend college and then law school. I'm still living the American dream my grandparents sought to provide for their future generations. I'm doing so as a lawyer. 
as a business owner and as a lawmaker. For here in America, as you know, we have citizens representing us in government, making the best decisions they can for the future of our states and our nation. It is an absolute privilege for me to be in public service. During my time in public office, I've seen more tragedies than I expected. Catastrophic hurricanes and school massacres, scam artists taking advantage of vulnerable people. But no matter how many tabletop exercises I've been a part of or emergency responses summits I've attended, nothing truly prepared me for COVID-19. I don't have to tell you that 2020 turned our world upside down. What I can tell you is that you, the 2021 graduates of ASA College, are better prepared than the rest of us to tackle the next challenge that comes our way. You all were in such critical developmental stages of your lives when the pandemic hit. Though it could have been de detrimental to your education and to your futures, you did not let it stand in the way. You all quickly pivoted to virtual learning. You didn't skip a beat. If you did, you made up for it. Now you're interviewing for jobs in virtual settings. While the rest of us are still trying to figure out Zoom, you all mastered these technologies years ago and your abilities to be flexible and dynamic will prove to be great assets in the workforce. Over the last year, I've heard a lot of folks say that a crisis shows one's true colors. Sometimes you see folks panic. Some folks are quick to help others. Some folks only help themselves. During a crisis, that's when leaders rise to the top. Leaders find a way to get through a crisis, to help communities rebuild and support communities as they recover. You all, the graduates of ASA College, are our future leaders. The question is, how will you respond when the next crisis hits? I am confident you will be strong leaders. You have proven to adapt. You have gained a strong education. You are ready to change the world. Good luck, graduates. Be safe and Godspeed. Thank you. Distinguished guests, ASA Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, graduates, and families. ASA College's virtual graduation ceremony continues its proud tradition of celebrating its graduates, albeit remotely. Today, we honor the achievement of our graduates and share in their glory. We are so very proud of each and every one of you. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge and thank the ASA faculty for their hard work, dedication, patience and compassion that has made this day possible. Every year, I have the happy task of introducing the valedictorian, but this year it nearly did not happen. How could we pick one among you for this honor when the truth is that all of you really deserve to be lauded for overcoming insurmountable obstacles and graduating against tremendous odds? The graduation committee deliberated long and hard before they decided to initiate the valedictorian selection process. But traditions are important and must be sustained. Celebrating exceptional achievements in a traditional, is a traditional component of the commencement ceremony. So the valedictorian selection committee set out to select an outstanding member of the graduating class to represent you all. To achieve a perfect 4.0 cumulative GPA for the entirety of a program is extraordinary. It means that the individual possesses not only a great natural aptitude for academics, but is also planful, detail-oriented, persistent, and self-aware. Nevertheless, these qualities alone do not ensure that a candidate will be honored as best of the best. More is required of an ASA valedictorian. Communication skills, presentation, college pride, ability to inspire, and leadership qualities. All of these qualities must be present and of the, must be of the highest caliber to be selected as the academic beacon that represents the graduating class. Your class valedictorian has demonstrated with great felt authenticity his belief in the value of an ASA college education. Moreover, his current position at Columbia University Children's Hospital and future aspirations in the medical field show that he's undaunted by the road ahead. He was on the President's List Honors, 
the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society member, and the president of the Pierce for Careers Club. He came to the United States with his parents who sacrificed much to attain a better life and opportunities for their children. With the steadfast support of his parents and motivation from his younger sister, your valedictorian is on his way to fulfill his parents' dream and his own ambitions to work as a physician in the United States. It is my pleasure to present to you all Mr. Rohan Patel, ASA College's first Indian American valedictorian in 35 years of the class of 2019-2020. Please give him a round of applause and thank you. Members of Board of Trustees, President of ASA College, distinguished guests, family, friends, members of administration, faculty, and staff, and fellow graduates. My name is Rohan Patel. I am proud and honored to be selected to represent the graduating class of 2020. Today is the day to be thankful and to be inspired. ASA was my college of choice, and that is a choice I will never ever regret in my life. We are facing tough times with each one of us questioning what the future holds for us. The world as we knew, it has been turned upside down. But I believe a bright future is what we can hope for. Today, we have become ASA College graduates. Regardless of our reasons for choosing ASA College a few years ago, the most important thing right now is that we are all gathered here to celebrate our achievements, our victories, our triumphs, both individually and as a college, and the new journey into the next life chapter that we have all embarked on towards our future destination. Looking back at my years and journey at ASA College, I can proudly and confidently say that no better college recognizes and appreciates all the hard work and the time to perform in real life. Though there have been tough times over the past years in ASA, a few things I'm certain to reflect upon as I prepare to toss my graduation cap in the air are the achievements I was able to build into a career while at ASA. On a foundation of academic excellence, making president's list in 2018 and 2019, and getting Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society Scholarship, I got an opportunity to work and be a part of federal work study program. And I get engaged with the ASA student community as the president of Peers for Careers Club. I am thankful ASA recognizes and appreciates this academic achievements. Today, I stand proud as a certified medical assistant at Columbia University Children's Hospital, hoping of obtaining my master's in medicine and surgery. None of this would be possible without the help and support I received from the amazing staff and faculty at ASA. But most importantly, the overwhelming support I received from my friends and family. Thanks, mom and dad. I would not be here today without your support, your love, your prayers, and your blessings. Thank you so much. As you know that quality sells best in any market, I have no fear of transforming into a career professional because of the competencies and skills I've gained, I've learned during my ASA college training. My fellow graduates, indeed, we should be proud of our achievements and victories. And that is why we are here today to celebrate. Fellow graduates, after all ups and downs and after all the tough times we had in our life, we finally did it. We did it and I'm so proud of myself and everyone out there. But we cannot stop here. We are prepared to move on and to take on whatever challenges comes next in our lives. Let's take our ASA education as stepping stone to reach greater heights, dedication, Determination and discipline is all what I believe in. I would like to close by echoing Eleanor Roosevelt's words, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Thank you. Please take care of yourself and be, good luck, be in touch, and God bless. Thank you. <laughs>